Memes have health benefits. Yes. The pill is dictating who we fancy. She had a big crush on him. If you aren't going barefoot, maybe you should be. I have to take my shoes off. You need to start listening to brown noise. I can't wait. And your sleeping position reveals some hard truths about your personality. Last night I had a dream. It was so weird. Welcome to Bits of Your Brain, the well-being edition. Kicking things off with some good news, a study from Sheffield Hallam University has discovered evidence to suggest that memes can actually be good for your health. Ah, thank you, honey. The research finds that memes can help alleviate symptoms of anxiety and depression. They also find that social media pages with dedicated mental health memes even appear to help us express our emotions in a creative way and provide a channel to build social bonds with others. So basically, it's another reason to share more memes in the group chat. We would have a laugh with us. If you're taking the pill, be warned because experts are saying it might be influencing who you fancy. According to psychologists, there's quite a long list of things it affects, including sex, attraction, stress, hunger, eating patterns, emotion regulation, and even friendships. That's where all my emotion comes from. But it's the hormone progesterone that's been found to make pill takers exhibit a preference for men with less masculine faces and voices. I'm so intrigued about this. If you're a pill taker, please let me know if you've experienced any attraction changes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you get your grippers out more, it might make you healthier because a recent study has found that walking barefoot in natural surroundings like the park or the beach could be beneficial for both the mind and body. Well, you know what? Let's hope. A recent study around the practice of going barefoot, which they call grounding, can help reduce pain, lower stress, and result in better sleep due to the transfer of electrons from the earth to the body. It's very much giving witchy vibes, but it might be worth giving a go. To play an old witch, I thought it was great. I've never done that before. Have you ever listened to brown noise? Because apparently it can help us focus and even drift off to sleep. You heard it here first, folks. It's kind of like white noise, except it's more low frequency and consistent, so it has much more of a calming effect. Think of it like a low rumbly noise, like heavy rain, thunderstorms, or ocean sounds. That's always a very nice thing. Scientists have found evidence that suggests brown noise can help us relax and also encourage our brains to focus, particularly for those of us with ADHD. So if you've not got some brown noise on your Spotify playlist, go and add it right now. It's very clever, whoever made that. And finally, have you ever thought about what your sleeping position says about you? Because body language can reveal a whole lot about your personality even when you're asleep. I didn't know that. If you're curling up like a baby, you're more likely to present a tough exterior, but deep down, you're a sensitive soul. And if you sleep on your back, you're more likely to be an energetic morning person. If you sleep on your side, people think you're trustworthy and easygoing. But if you sleep on your front, you can come across as a bit brash and don't take criticism well. Sounds like it's time to completely reevaluate my sleeping position. I enjoy rest. Nothing like an afternoon nap. Well, that's all, folks. See you next time for more bits for your brain.